Operation Platinum will continue until that happens. I, for one, personally, think it'll be an awesome feat if it can be achieved. For one, Platinum games don't sell well, regardless of the install base. So to reach that goal with a small and single install base that the Wii U offers would be an awesome achievement. And it will show Platinum Games that there still are many gamers who appreciate the pure gameplay aspects of their games and appreciate the wonderful work they put in and passion they put in for making games. It'll show them that we're still out here and we're still wanting their unique way of delivering games that we enjoy. And real gamers, that's right, real gamers, want awesome games to do well, regardless of what plastic they're on. And with that, I'll conclude this Pretender Direct. As always, Domo Origato, fools. Team, unite up! Hey there, foods. Mr. T here. Um, as you can see, I got a bunch of controllers out over here. Gonna be doing a video on controllers pretty soon. Um, I actually had this video shot a while ago. Um, I had the footage ready to go, just needed to edit it. That is until my hard drive on my laptop crashed, and there it is right here. See date. This is it right, yeah, 250 gig, yeah. My laptop hard drive crashed, and uh, what well, didn't crash is it had water damage. Uh, so, ruined a lot of my footage. I had to scramble to get more stuff done. But uh, yeah, excuse the audio on this one because I'm doing this kind of raw. I just want to get it out quick. Um, but yeah, that's not what this is about. I'll do that video sometime soon, but. This is about Bayonetta 2 hitting a million sales finally on uh, Wii U. Um, as you know, I was one of the early supporters of Doc Trey's um, Operation Platinum. And uh, yeah, uh, did a little, you know, had a little uh, outro uh, as you'll see at the beginning of this video and at the end of the last one. You can hear some knocking in the background. Like I said, I don't care about the audio being perfect in this one. Just want to do it quick. Uh, that's my kids' hamster. Hamsters running around on the wheel, clanging up against the glass. But anyway, Bayonetta 2 hits a million sales. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Glad that it happened. I felt, always felt that it would. Um, and like I said in the first video, um, a lot of people were going to be talking about oh, how long it took. Uh, and that in the very beginning, I said it was never about how long it took. It was about uh, just it getting done because Platinum, you know, they make great games, but they don't tend to sell all that great. And it just was a cool thing. It'd be a cool thing for, especially on a Nintendo console, for a Platinum game to sell over a million. I mean, that's that's a achievement in itself you know another achievement so that was pretty cool um so let's just want to look at some things here because i know the quote unquote what the quote unquote hater arguments will be um again i would usually throw this up in a graphic in a video but i just want to be quick so let me all right so there you have bayonetta on 360 um at nine point, oh, or excuse me, at point nine three million, which is nine hundred thirty thousand copies, roughly sold. Um, and that's the three sixty version, right? Yeah. Okay. And let's go back to the uh, this is the PlayStation three. It sold one point twenty one million. Um, and you know the argument is, oh, uh, well, the three sixty version was superior but like I said it didn't matter because the Sony gamers bought more of the inferior version so it didn't matter to them but my point is that um, and this says you know as of April 
2016, so it's still counting. So, what's that, six years? Um, I believe this came out early 2010, either early 2010 or late um, to, uh, 2009, because I remember because uh, my son was born in 2010. He was only a couple months old. And I remember my cousin, um, my son was born in 2010. Uh, he was a couple of months old when I played this at my cousin's house. Um, Bayonetta, the first one on 360. So that was the first time I played it. Uh, so I know it was early 2010. So um, yeah, um, I want to make that point because uh, you know, six years, six years later, um, it's still at 1.21 million on P PS3 and. 0.93 million on Xbox 360 and those install bases uh, are over what 85 million on each console and uh, they barely could move uh, a million copies each obviously the PS3 version did but that's no that's no consolation that's no great feat on a console that has an 85 million install base um, that's not an accomplishment. It should be way more than that. And again, okay, you can say, well, the PS3 version was the weaker version. Well, it still sold better than the better version. So that didn't, that shouldn't have stopped it. And the better version didn't sell barely a million itself, or didn't even sell a million itself. So um, I'm just trying to point out that uh, Bayonetta 2 selling. Uh, a million copies on a Nintendo console for one, but the Wii U, which which, which has a what 13 million install base, that is huge. All the outcrying, all the crying for Bayonetta, well, when it came became uh, you know uh, exclusive to the Wii U, uh, people were upset, but they barely bought the game on the consoles, um, totaling over 100 million install. So, <laughs> this is, like I said, this is to celebrate the, the feat of the, uh, the game selling a million copies. That's what it's about, Operation Platinum. I'm glad it happened. Um, shout out to Doc Trey for, for starting that, uh, that movement. So, so uh, good on him for doing that. Um, like I said, I jumped on pretty early. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, because there's, there's, I mean, there's always going to be the hater argument of, oh, it took two years. Well, you know what? It, six years in, and um, those other consoles, you know, barely sold. Well, first of all, one console sold less in six years. And uh, the other console that sold more is only at 200,000 more. And again, the install base. Now that console is over 85 million, while the Wii U install base is 12, 13 million. So uh, that, to me, is uh, that makes it even a better victory. So shout out to Platinum Games. Uh, they deserve, you know, all the accolades. The games are awesome. I'm happy for them. Um, I'm proud of the Wii U guys who went out and bought it. Um, Good on you guys for buying a very high quality third party game, uh, third party exclusive uh, for the console. So, yeah. Uh, what's that? How does the song go? Celebrate good time. <laughs> no, just kidding. But yeah, it's very cool. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Um, is this a good thing? Is it a great thing? I actually think it's great. I think I laid out the reasons why in my argument. If you. Can rebut that then please feel free to in the comment section um i'm sure some people will try some people have tried i, I commented on Trey, uh, trey's video uh when he's you know celebrating it so i'm sure some guys will try to rebut but they won't it won't be successful because <laughs> uh none of the rebuttals have been su successful so but yeah uh that's it for this video fools and i'll see you next time
Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo fools. <laughs>